name is Joe Pettis. Uh, if you guys don't mind, uh, keep that chicken claws going. I'm, as of tonight, I am 13 weeks sober. Get up for that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, us, you guys really came it up. Uh, by the way, when I say sober, I just mean alcohol. Uh, still doing drugs. Uh, by the way, when you don't drink drugs, it's so much better. Uh, let's go, but here's why I quit drinking. Uh, last 4th of July, I, I got so blacked out drunk that I got stabbed twice here in the chest. Apparently, I dared my friend to stab me, and he did it. And, uh, I, 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 like, apparently, like, I, lost, I lost two pints of blood, and uh, totally ruined that McDonald's play place. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea what happened to me. Apparently, I, like, apparently I just got stabbed and uh, I was just walking down the street and a car pulled up and this dude was like, hey man, do you need help? And I was like, why? He goes, dude, you're covered in blood. And I looked down, sure enough, I was covered in blood. And he's, uh, he was like, hey man, I'm gonna call 911. And my first response was I ran. <laughs> and I hid behind a bush. <laughs> Cause at that time, I didn't know that was my blood. <laughs> I, uh, I'm one of the most active members on the Glenn Beck fan page on Facebook. <laughs> Here's why. Glenn Beck has like 30 million Facebook fans. If you comment on one of the status updates, you can get thousands of likes. I'm always seeking validation. <laughs> and, uh, I try this every day, but like last January, this over a year ago, I had the best one ever. I'm still proud of it. It was, uh, it was, when, it was like when Obamacare was still a thing, you know, when people still Obamacare. And, uh, <laughs> Glenn Beck made a post about Obamacare, and I, and I commented, I wrote, they should make an Obamacare bear, right? And its power would be the ability to heal you while prying into your personal life. And that got over 3,000 likes on the Glenn Beck fan page. <laughs> but here's the fun part, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, anything you post on Facebook, you can go back later on. There's a little button that says edit. <laughs> you can change it to whatever you want it to say. <laughs> and you keep all the likes. <laughs> So I waited like six hours, and then I changed it to, this never happened when we had a white president. <laughs> Here's the thing, it got 25,000 likes after that. <laughs> I also spent a lot of time on the Kroger image. I don't think you guys have Kroger here in uh, Austin, but uh, what I do is, I, it's, a, it's a grocery store in Atlanta, and what I do is I respond to customer complaints as if I'm a representative of Kroger. <laughs> and people fall for it, which is weird. Uh, like, a couple of days ago, some woman posted on the Kroger fan page, my husband and I recently separated our Kroger Plus accounts, and uh, we lost off our fuel points. Is this something Kroger can do about it? And so I wrote back, it sounds to us like your marriage is in shambles. <laughs> but then Kroger liked it, that was the best part. <laughs> but, uh, this is cool. I, I think Austin, this is, only, this is only my second time in the city. Uh, what I like about Austin is you guys have lots of train kids, uh, or gutter punks, whatever you want to call them. You guys know what I'm talking about, it's like the homeless white kids by choice, you know? <laughs> they always have earth tone colors on. Uh, like they always come in groups, there's always like four guys and one girl. You know, she always has dreadlocks. Uh, she's like a smelly Smurfette. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason they call Trank is because you never see one who's like in this 30s. You know, they're always like teens, early 20s, and I have, I have theories about that, two theories. One, uh, they just die off, you know, <laughs> between like rail bosses and heroin overdoses. It's a rough lifestyle. <laughs> or two, say they make it like 25 years old, what happens is they turn into a dog. <laughs> You've seen them, right? They always have a dog with them. That's not a normal dog. The train kid that turned into a dog and now he's the leader of the group. That's why his jacket always has the most patches. His name is probably Patches. My name's Joe Pettis. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the show.